A little while ago we had a look at um, motor efficiency at varying uh, battery voltages and uh, raised some unusual questions and I've been doing a little more testing related to this I've managed to uh, eliminate some of the variables um, and hopefully have some more interesting data to look at even if I still don't have an exact answer for you on it. So what we're looking at here is a, uh, a quick uh, dyno chart. So what this is is measuring the torque output of the motor directly. Previously I'd measured uh, was comparing efficiency based on uh, thrust efficiency but we've taken the propeller out of it so we don't have to worry about propeller efficiency or atmospheric effects or anything like that. We're getting the straight up power out of the motor and comparing it to the electrical power that we've got going in. And this is showing RPM on X and the amount of torque we're getting in on Y. Uh, so we're covering a very wide range. A, a propeller uh, torque curve is, is going to make a curve, a single line through this chart, something like this. So we're showing uh, very high loads, much higher than uh, you'll get on a propeller, and uh, very, very low loads as well, like you would get from uh, propeller unloading in the air, and even further uh, below that as well. So we're seeing the entire envelope of performance of the motor. And the color bands show the efficiency. So each uh, color band here shows a, a gap of 10% efficiency. This middle band here is 50% efficient. And so this uh, next one up at 60, this one is 40 and 30 and so on and so on. This is also a different motor from the previous test. It's a slightly higher KV. This is uh, happens to be a 4100 uh, KV motor. But keep in mind that we're comparing the relative efficiency between 2S, 3S, and 4S on the same motor. So the absolute efficiency of the motor itself doesn't matter so much. We're looking for changes of efficiency uh, as we go up and down in pack voltage. And what we really want to see an increase in efficiency is more of this chart is going to go the more bluer color, the higher efficiency values, and this should hopefully push down uh, into the lower RPM bands so that we're not stuck with just our high efficiency only on uh, on high RPM and, and usually at loading that we won't actually be able to hit in the air. The other thing to note about all of these charts is I'm limiting all of the three voltages to the same torque performance kind of area. So on 2S, the 2S test, uh, this is going to be all through 100% throttle. On 4S, this is the 50% throttle range. So we're covering the same performance envelope on the motor at all three voltages, just to make the charts a little clearer to read. So the chart I'm on right now is the 3S, and if we flip over to the 4S results, that looks basically what we saw when we were comparing the thrust as well. We've lost uh, all of the 60% uh, the, uh, efficiency has dropped off the chart completely. And it's almost like each zone has uh, slipped up one section. So in this area, we've got 50% efficiency uh, on in this RPM band. And on 4S, that's dropped down to 40% efficiency. The very, very low efficiency sections uh, haven't changed very much. This is where the motor is extremely heavily loaded. Um, and they seem to fall basically in the same places. Um, it's really just this, this metal section here that moves really dramatically. Um, this is where most of you, your uh, flying is going to be up in this kind of middle section of the power band. So even though we're looking at the direct motor output, we are seeing that same efficiency uh, loss, almost 10% torque efficiency uh, loss going from 3S to 4S. And remember also here we're comparing the wattage in and out. And so this is irrespective. We're not looking at the difference in current between the two, but the difference in power, which includes both voltage and current together. Now comparing from the 3S to the 2S, if we've got the same thing, we should see an increase in efficiency. And we do. Maybe not as dramatic as, as going to 4S, but toggling back and forth between these, where we've got this little little teeny uh, nub of 60% of on 3S. Under 4S, this uh, cuts even lower into our uh, power envelope. And similar to the 4S, the uh, very low efficient efficiency bands tend to move less than uh, the big middle, middle section of the uh, power envelope. Um, 
but even then they do seem to move this uh, kind of 30% zone uh, recedes just slightly on uh, 2s compared to 3s and if you compare directly from 4s to 2s you can see really clearly how much more efficiency uh, you're pushing in like imagine this 60% uh, uh, section pushing in on here the absolute difference between these two like here this is our best area of efficiency is just about spot on at 50 percent um, efficiency and the same section here on 2s um, we're looking at 68 percent efficiency so an 18 percent jump in efficiency for the same in performance envelope going from 4s to 2s i find that kind of interesting that's uh very close in line. I think uh, what I was looking at on the uh, previous test was something about 7% uh, for each of these jumps and that's around about what we're seeing in the uh, the torque efficiency of the motor uh, as well. Uh, you know jumping from 4 to 2 is uh, you know 2 voltage uh, step and if I compare this you know if that was 50 to the 3S this here we're seeing 63 so 12 12% increase from uh, 4 to 3, just another, uh, you know, 6 or 7% from uh, 3S to 2S. Now, the other thing that uh, I was worried about on the previous test is I only tested on a single ESC, so I wondered if it might be related to that specific uh, manufacturer or a brand of ESC. So these tests are all on BL Heli S, and I have tests on BL Heli 32, so we're now we're looking at 4S, and if we compare the BL Heli 32 uh, test on 4S, uh, they're almost identical. So accounting for uh, measurement noise and, and whatnot, uh, BL Heli 32 doesn't seem to be performing uh, particularly differently than BL Heli S in this regards. And if we bump down to the BL Heli 32 on 2S, we see the same thing we saw in the earlier test as well. Huge chunk of efficiency encroaching on uh, the middle of that this kind of uh, power envelope. And comparing with the BL Heli S, again, these two charts are almost identical. So we're seeing the exact same effect on the BL Heli 32 ESC that we are in the BL Heli S ESC. So I'm just picking on BL Heli. Well, let's look at the BL Heli S compared to the KISS on 4S. And the KISS ESC does give us a different looking picture for sure compared to both of the BL Helis. Um, the measurements that I'm getting off this definitely seem to be a lot noisier. So the BL Heli S is giving us a much cleaner reading where the uh, KISS seems to be a little noisier in there. But you can see that they're still fairly uh, close in uh, how in performance how they are. If anything, the KISS seems to be maybe losing out on, on uh, really heavy uh, loading at very low RPM, um, but gaining perhaps just a little bit of efficiency um, with very light loading at higher RPM. And then that can also uh, just be because of this uh, extra noise that we're getting uh, up and down if we're just you know, we're already um, kind of close to the next efficiency band um, out on this side of the chart and the uh, noise in the KISS readings may be uh, kicking us over. But you can see that the basically the zones of the chart from KISS to Heli S still fall in, in uh, pretty much the same place. And looking at KISS on 2S, we see exactly the same thing again. Huge increase of efficiency, um, down right in that lower section, uh, pushing the, uh, the lower efficiency sections off the edge of the chart and cutting down into the, uh, the mid-band uh, section of power. So I can look at all of the 2S results and see no matter what brand of ESC, what uh, firmware uh, that it's running, the 32-bit uh, BL Heli and the, uh, the KISS uh, 24, or the uh, BL Heli S, they're all giving us very, very similar results and a similar difference to comparing against the 4S tests, which all uh, have a, a significant and measurable uh, drop in efficiency.
So there we go. Still can't explain exactly why this is happening, but it's not because of anything with the prop or um, problems measuring the uh, thrust or related to that. And obviously it doesn't matter what ESC I choose uh, to use. The effect is the same on all of them. Now I'm not sure if this was this would hold up with other even more different um, techniques for driving the motor. So for instance, the uh, field oriented control. And so we'll also have to see the uh, next generation uh, KISS firmware. And uh, if they're doing different techniques to drive the motor, that may have a different effect as well. Um, but I'm feeling a lot more confident in saying that this is a fairly general effect that you're going to see on any, any kind of build. And it's something we'll have to look at in a future video, but I'm really curious how this is going to affect the uh, powertrain choice between high KV, low voltage, and low voltage high KV. So you can look forward to that comparison coming up pretty soon.